My name is Logan Powell, and this is my how-to speech. My how-to speech is going to be over pizza. And before we start, you need a couple ingredients like dough, tomato sauce, cheese, and uh, any other toppings you want. Uh, some people like pineapple, uh, banana pepper, spam, pepperoni, stuff like that. Uh, you're going to need cornmeal to put on the thing that you're actually cooking the pizza on, like a cooking stone, that's what I have here. Uh, that's what I use, and I feel like it's the most efficient. Step one, I use pre-bought dough because it's simpler, easy, uh, cuts out the time to make the dough, and me personally, it's just as good. Uh, step two, you're gonna uh, spread the sauce out yeah, using a spoon. You kinda wanna push it towards the edge because while it's cooking, the sauce is gonna go to the middle and you want everything dispersed evenly. And this is gonna be the same thing with cheese. Uh, you're gonna want this spread out evenly as well. Don't be shy with it. The first time I made my pizza, I was shy with it and it wasn't as good. And this is gonna be your toppings. You're gonna disperse this quite evenly. You don't want a whole bunch of one area. So each slice is just as good as the next. Uh, step five, cooking. Don't worry about it burning. I mean, when I first did it, I was really, really worried, but it turns out it's really hard to burn a pizza. So you'll be fine. Uh, I cook it at 425, and I just look for the edge to be golden brown, perfect, so it's a nice, even uh, toasted cru uh, crust. You can leave it in there for longer if you want more of a crunch, but I don't. Finally, perfect pizza. Eat it for lunch, dinner, change the toppings, keep it interesting, you know. Uh, thank you for listening. Now I'm gonna play a video on how to make a pizza. starting at the center, working my way out, and pressing the dough out to the edge of the pan. You can already see put the cornmeal on, but I normally <coughs> make the pizza on a separate plate, then add the cornmeal, then put the pizza on there. But you do what you want. And you want to leave kind of a lip around the edge of the crust. And I'm going to take half of my sauce mixture, I'm just going to spoon that out into the center, and then using the back of a spoon, I'm just going to spread this out to within about three quarters of an inch or so of the edge of the crust. And once you get your sauce spread out, make sure that it's nice and even, you don't have any bone spots on the crust. And then you wanna take your mozzarella cheese and just sprinkle this on the top. And you wanna make sure that you get this, the cheese all the way to the edge of the sauce. You don't wanna cover the crust, but you wanna cover the sauce with the cheese. take my pepperoni and starting on the outside I'm going to place a row of pepperoni and I'm keeping the pepperoni relatively close to each other because they do shrink up when they bake and I'm going to go around and continue filling in the center kind of overlapping the slices so it looks like that and I'm going to place that into the oven and bake it for seven minutes until it's nice and golden brown looks like that and I'm just going to take my pizza cutter and slide it underneath around the edge, make sure that the pizza's not stuck to the pan, and it shouldn't be with the cornmeal. And I'm just going to cut this into eight slices, and you can use this crust and this sauce for any toppings that you'd like on your pizza. If you want sausage, Canadian bacon, if you want vegetarian, whatever you like and whatever is your preference, this is perfect for that. Go ahead. So his pizza, uh, he used, I skipped it like halfway, because he used uh, he made his own dough, his own sauce, but you don't have to do that, and it just came out just as good. And that is my how-to speech on how to make a perfect pizza.